Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be showing you how to remove alpha antivirus from your system. And alpha antivirus is a fake uh, client, and just offhand, it looks to be uh, very similar to uh, personal antivirus, another fake client that's out there right now, too, as well. And so what this is going to do is it's only going to show you uh, false and bogus scan results, as well as exaggerated claims of uh, users being infected. If we look down here in the system tray real quick, you'll actually get to see part of that and we'll say uh, bloodhound.pdf.8 uh, and uh, that's just part of the the uh, ho deal where it tries to scare the user into actually thinking that hey they are infected and, and the like and because this client's really really new at the time of this video um, not a whole lot of clients are picking it up right now uh, fire doctor with antivirus is picking up the vast majority of the traces and I'm sure in another day or two it'll pick up the rest of it um, we found that this did have to be auto installed for us uh, if you did not auto install the or if you did not manually I'm sorry manually install this then chances are um, you have another Trojan on the system that installed it too as well and you'll have to run a full uh, virus scan using your client and one of the easiest ways um, of removing this is simply going to the alpha antivirus folder itself so if we were to right click on the icon on the desktop you can select properties wait for that to come up and right here is where you're going to be able to see the exact file path and the exact trace that you're going to need to uh, terminate to get rid of the alpha antivirus so we'll see right there it says alpha antivirus uh, .exe. Let's go ahead and bring up the task manager. Hold uh, Control Alt Delete at the same time, and that'll bring up the task manager. And if the task manager is disabled for you, we do have a uh, uh, another process or another uh, process killing tool you can use on our website, removevirus.org. It's in our uh, sidebar as well as a uh, quick patch for the registry to restore that uh, particular uh, device manager. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Alpha Antivirus and process yes so that right there pretty much killed the program straight so it's not running anymore for us so now we can actually browse to uh, this folder location go ahead and copy that and go ahead and bring up uh, your computer should be able to just copy it right in and there it is Let's go ahead and let's go back one. We're just going to go ahead and delete everything within that folder. The alpha AV is what's going by right now. Um, chances are it will mutate and it will change a little bit on you. So we already deleted that. Now now another location of this is going to be under your uh, documents and settings all users start menu uh, you're going to see alpha AV right there too as well and that's basically telling Windows hey go ahead and start me on all systems and the like so we're going to go ahead and delete that and include a link on their desktop so delete that and there's one other location too as well uh, that we found and it's going to be under the all users again and it's going to be under application data and this is a hidden file folder on your system so you'll have to go to um, tools folder options view and then right here show hidden files and folders and just hit OK and that way you'll be able to actually see the uh, hidden files and folders too as well and you can always uncheck that in the end too and under uh, all users here we should see it let me see if we can't find it I'm actually not seeing the trace in here, but I do see our temp folder here. We're just going to go ahead and delete what's there. And now we have to go in and delete a few of the registry keys. And if you're not comfortable with the registry, you could always use a uh, an antivirus program. We do recommend it to most out there. Um, that you actually do use a real client to remove this and not manually go into the registry. Um, uh, definitely please read our disclaimer on our website for this and at the beginning of this video we have a link going to that. So we're going to go ahead and go down to uh, the Windows Start button. We're going to go ahead and go to Run. Uh, 
and for those that didn't get it, we just went to the run button and we went ahead and just typed in regedit and if regedit reg has been disabled we got a fix for that too on our sidebar. So now we need to find the traces and our uh, actual infection that we had with the alpha antivirus we actually didn't have the normal uh, traces that most people are going to have um, feel free and look at our website we have the article up there just do a search for the alpha antivirus client and it'll come up oftentimes it's going to be under the HE current user and then under software you'll see it right up here um, the alpha antivirus just basically pointing to it to uh, auto start same under uh, Microsoft and then uh, the exact path is is normally software, Microsoft Windows current version run, and then alpha antivirus, and that's what what oftentimes will show it up right away. And we can too as well. While we're here, we might as well just finish it off. Go ahead and hit the Windows Start button again. Go to Run. Go ahead and type in a uh, MS config to bring up the Start menu. go ahead and go under startup and you can uncheck that if it's there and yeah right here's the location key so it was under uh, Microsoft Windows current version run let's go ahead and find it so that was HKLM which is the local machine software Microsoft current version then run And there's the key right there, the alpha antivirus, which it's not, it wouldn't run anyways because we already um, removed the alpha antivirus.exe. Let's go ahead and hit yes. So this actually did change on us, and I'll have to, and I'll update our guide too for this to, to point out the new uh, thread, and that's one reason why I do recommend you use a, a Spire Doctor with antivirus to at least run a scan on your system. Um, you can download that on a website too as well as well as a whole slew of other uh, other tools for you and uh, ho hope this video helped you out and that is it take care